over Ethernet, or PoE, can be a confusing topic. Many times we think about plugging something in and it just works. Well, PoE is extremely helpful, and some of the original use cases for it are uh, voice over IP phones. But today, that has started to expand a little bit. The 802.3AF standard is also referred to as simply PoE. 802.3AF allows for a maximum of 15.4 watts. This was a great standard at first because most devices use about this many watts. 802.3AF devices are compatible with 802.3AF and 802.3AT switches. The downside is that some of the functionality and features may be limited because of the power constraints. The 802.3AT standard increased the maximum power to 25.5 watts. It is commonly referred to as PoE+. The major benefit for this is the standard supports higher power. For example, uh, voice over IP phones with uh, LCD and video conference ability. The downside is that sometimes power supplies are required and you may need one or more dedicated circuits for them. If you use a battery backup, higher end backups are also needed. So what should you use? Don't think of it as one versus the other. On the switch side, 802.3AT is the newer standard and it's backwards compatible. So you'll need to determine what standards your existing layer two gear supports. Then look at the devices you need to use to figure out those standards and power requirements. Now remember, if your switch is only capable of supporting 802.3AF, you'll need to upgrade, replace, or find a different phone or device. On the switch side, Choose 802.3AT if you can. On the device side, try to find the most efficient device possible to minimize the power requirements while meeting any business demands you may have. PoE can be great, but if you hit the tipping point of power consumption, line cards and switches can start to power down to conserve power. So it's important to be power conscious in your decisions. Thanks for watching. Did you know careers in tech and IT pay well with lots of room to grow? What are you planning to do this year? Take the leap and get studying for those certifications. Check out all the links in the description and don't forget to sign up for a free trial and check out all CBT Nuggets has to offer.